Summer Saren, the most high value, most sought after character in the entire game coming to a Princess Connect near you. Global that is. Hi. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lace. This is a Princess Connect video. And today we're going to be talking about the second half of the summer update, uh, in particular Summer Saren, because I do think that she is the focal point of this entire game, actually. There's, all, there's too much hype on Summer Saren. It's way too much. But like, can you blame her? Can you freaking blame her? And so without further ado, let's jump right into the content. This is probably a lot of people's most exciting patch, considering this is the first time that we will be rolling in a very long time. Not for me though, because I sparked for Summer Susana about two weeks ago. Yeah. All right, so Summer Saren. First of all, she is dropping in about five days and she will be around for about two weeks. She is a limited character. So if there was any time to actually reroll, if there was actually any time to start, now is the time you go for Summer Saren. Even better, if you could get Summer Kiaru and then like luck into Summer Saren, that is probably the dream account. And so then why exactly is Summer Saren so hyped? You guys already know, it's that time of the segment, it's evaluation time! Okay, let's, let's go. So first and foremost, Summer Saren is like just a babe. She's, everybody likes it. There is nobody who doesn't like Summer Saren. If you do find someone who does not like her, then I don't know. It's, yeah, I, I don't know. And so in terms of character design, a 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10, if I may say so myself. However, let's move on to the Union Burst, Summer Bright Force. Applies a physical attack, a magic attack, and action speed buff to all allies. Think about Monica skill one, no, skill two, skill, whichever one is the big juicy buff. And then imagine if you could reactivate it instead of it only being active for the first 30 seconds. Sheesh. And so as you can see, we've got the multipliers down here. 10.5 multiplied by, let's say, about 140. That's going to be 1.4k attack for physical and magical. But the real juicer, the real juicer is this one over here. The attack speed is increased for... 50%. My guys, more action speed means more actions. More actions means more TP and damage. More TP means more UBs, which could be a whole bunch of things, whether it be more heals, more sustain, more damage, etc, etc. And so this UB is just universally good. It's good on every single team. You're going to see her used in magic teams. You're going to see her used in physical teams. You're going to see her solo stages by herself. Um, you know, a little bit of a doubt on that last one, but let's move on to skill one, splash twirling. And so this skill recovers TP for all allies by a large amount. However, if we come down here, you will see that it only occurs once. This is very much kind of like the Monica come in, juice everyone up and kind of just chill for the rest of the match. So the thing about this TP gain is that it is quite significant, right? 175 and then 1.25 times skill level. I'm just going to plug in our current skill cap. Sorry. Yes. Skill cap at 136. And we are going to see that the entire team upon entering the battle is going to get 345 TP. TP each. And the other insane thing about this is that this scales with skill levels. So you can imagine all of those JP bros and CN bros that are at like level 200 or 240 or 600 or whatever, like they are getting the fat juice. Moving on to skill two, we've got Bright Shout, which applies physical attack, physical crit rate, magic attack, and magic crit rate. Thank you for the subscribe, Carolina Corey buff to all allies. And this, my guys, is just another big juicer. We've got physical magical attack for everybody, 2.5 times the skill level. And then on the other hand, a universal crit rate buff for both physical and magical. That's... I don't know, man. It's There's nothing you can fault this character for. She gives physical attack, magic attack, action speed, crit rate buff, and she gives TP to everybody. It's literally like they thought up of a perfect character and then perfectly character designed Summer Siren and then put it together and we're like, all right, boys, let's make some money, man. You have Lamborghinis for all. And so yeah, to wrap things up with the EX skill, we do have physical attack. It's kind of whatever. As you can tell by now, Summer Siren is most certainly a support unit. She doesn't really care about that one in terms of the bond level bonus, more physical attack. However, let's move on to the initial and loop pattern. What we have here is a skill one into an order into a skill two. And then after the skill two, auto, auto, skill two, auto, auto, skill two. And so as you can imagine, that physical attack, magic attack, magic crit, physical crit rate buff is going to be up for a very, very long time. That, my guys, is Summer Saren in a nutshell. That's... 
He's so freaking stacked. Like, I can't believe that they actually made a character like this exist. So yeah, like I said before, you're going to find her in CB. You're going to find her in Arena. You're going to find her in Lunatow. You're going to find her in Story Mode. You're going to find her everywhere. I'm just going to show you guys a little bit. Over here, we have a magic team for CB. We have Summer Saren in there. I'm going to scroll up a bit. I'm going to look for some physical teams with Summer Saren. Boom. We got Summer Saren over there. We got Summer Saren over here with Magical. She is everywhere, my guys. Like, she is not in every single team comp, but that's because these are just options, right? What you will notice, however, is that she is in all of the comps with the top damage. 350k over here, and then there is nothing else without 350k aside from this one over here. Coming down to C2, we have 440k here with the Summer Saren comp. Nothing else compares to it. And you will find that this is the case for Arena as well. So in terms of like her star rarity and her gear, where should she sit at? As always, shout out to the boy Chocolate for putting together this gear recommendation spreadsheet. But essentially for stars, you want her at three stars. There is like no dispute about that. The reason that you want to keep her at three stars permanently is because you want her to take as much damage as possible so that she can activate her Yubi more often. If I was to look for like Vishizu, she's probably at three stars as well. Here's Vishizu. She is at three star recommended because she is exactly in the same boat. I can go through probably New Year's Yui. The Summer Saren over there, three stars, three stars. With New Year's Yui over here, three stars. Chika as well, absolutely. There is no dispute about it. In terms of the gearing, Chocolate has recommended 9-1 or 14-1. And the reason behind both of these is 9-1, you take more damage. However, there are a lot of times where this is just not sufficient for the later bosses in clan battle. I think you guys can tell, right? These guys are getting stronger and stronger. And so it's just starting to not cut it. The next logical breakpoint is therefore at R14. And so my guys, there we have it. Those are the rank recommendations. Those are the star recommendations. Do not break your Summer Saren. If there was anybody that was important to not break, it is your Summer Saren. All right, and so with all of that being said, do I recommend rolling for her? Of course, she's probably the most important unit in the freaking game. I think the recommendation can be summarized in this GIF over here. The initial impressions were that Summer Saren is trash because she only TP boosts once, no damage, no heal, and everyone thought that V Shizuru was better. Not true. No Summer Saren, you get kicked from CB. <laughs> All right, my guys, I think that is enough for Summer Saren. That's probably going to take up half the video, but it is what it is. So pick her up, guys. And if you guys are new to pre-con, I would highly recommend rolling for her, re-rolling for her. Just make sure that you have Summer Saren. All right, with that being said, let's move on to the three-star guaranteed premium gacha. So this is fantastic because you can actually try to luck sack into your Summer Saren with this three-star guaranteed premium gacha. However, as always, please do remember that this is not like a rate up. You don't have a rate up on Summer Saren. You essentially have like uh if there are 16 characters in the pool they are evenly distributed even with the summer saren in there all right moving on moving on we've got the dangerous vacation revival story this is fantastic because this is going to let a lot of people get the summer kokoro and i know a lot of people have just been like shitting on the summer kokoro she is not bad she is not bad at all it's just that v shizuru is better and so what that does mean is that if you don't have v shizuru then summer kokoro is almost like a must farm for for those of us who are seeing summer kokoro for the second time along with these other summer units we will be having the privilege of being able to farm for their UEs I mean everyone can farm for the UE but now we just get more shots however for the veterans especially those of us who do have V Shizuru the value of Summer Kokoro has dramatically decreased and if you do want to use her you're not going to see many of the modern timelines have her you're probably going to have to go back to like last year's timelines all right so that's honestly fantastic especially because you can also farm for the Saren shots not the Summer Saren shots the Saren shots this event does last for six days as shown by this one however with that being said let's move on so in terms of the game update we will be getting rank 14 with four equips and then hard quest nodes for Rei, Mahiru and Anne for those of you who were ballsy enough like me okay so it wasn't that ballsy for those of you who were patient enough to not pull for the Kasumi to not pull for the Anne to not pull for the Oninon this is where we are going to get rewarded we are going to be able to farm them now on top of that we will be getting episode 10 of chapter 13 which is always nice the main story is a bomb and then we are going to be getting an increase to the level cap from 136 to 139. On the other hand, Lunar Tower is opening up in about two days. We are going up to 290. As always, I will be streaming this. And then what we have promptly after that is the announcement of the June clan battle, Oleon. So the interesting thing about this is that this clan battle is going to be on from the 6th of the 28th 
Sorry, if I come back up over here, you'll notice that we have the content drop on the 6th of the 27th. That essentially means that we only have about like one, maybe two days to farm for the new gear for that fourth slot. Uh, TLDR, it's usually going to be accessories. You're going to prioritize your DPSs, your physical DPSs, because they give attack and crit rate generally. But this honestly is a bit of a tough situation to be in. I would say just do your best. It's not going to like make or break your rank. I mean... <laughs> I mean, it, it kind of might, huh? <laughs> and then after that, we are going to have our regularly scheduled two times events with the normal quest drop going from 616 to 621, in which I need to remind you guys that 621, this is not going to cover the new content drop, which is happening on 627. After that, we are going to get a hard quest drops times two, and then we're going to get a dungeon drops times two. Fantastic. Dungeon Manor, of course. Dungeon Manor. And with all of that being said, that is going to take us to the end of the upcoming update. Man, I'm freaking pumped, man. <laughs> I can't wait to roll again. And that, my guys, is going to lead us to the secret question. How many gemmies do you have coming into Summer Saren Banner? I want to know if you guys are prepared to pull for this goddess of the ocean. For those of you that are interested, as you know, your boy is going to be pulling on stream for Summer Saren. Come join us. My guys, let me know down in the comments how you are faring. And if you do end up leaving a comment, thank you guys so much. If you did enjoy this video or kind of found it helpful, then please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on that notification bell. Ding. But otherwise, as the grand Summer Saren once said, all good things must come to an end, such as uh, all of your supports. And so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.